Hi everybody. The standard XC40 small crossover is the basis for the all-electric Volvo XC40 recharge in 2023. The XC40 recharge is Volvo's first EV, but the C40 recharge is now the automaker's only battery electric offering. It is part of a growing class of premium electric SUVs like the Audi e-tron, Ford Mustang Mach-E, Hyundai Ioniq 5, Jaguar I-Pace, and Tesla Model Y. While many electric SUVs offer a few different power or battery size options, Volvo sticks to a one-size-fits-all policy. A dual-motor electric drivetrain that produces 402 horsepower and 486 lb-ft of torque is standard on every Volvo XC40 recharge. The XC40 recharge's driving experience is its greatest strength. It takes just 4.5 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, which is faster than the Ford Mach-E and Tesla Model Y long range. Even though the Volvo has fairly basic all-season tires, it has a decent amount of control and traction out of the corners, making it pretty fun to drive around. The XC40 recharge is easy to drive at any speed and has a one-pedal driving mode that increases the motor's regenerative braking effect so you don't have to use the brake pedal to stop. When you open the door, the recharge starts up and is ready to go, and its electric motors make very little noise. Due to its increased weight and preference for sporty handling, the recharge's ride is more firm than comfortable. The front seats are made of suede and leather, are fairly comfortable, and they can be adjusted in a respectable number of ways. Due to the protruding headrest design and the limited adjustability of the steering wheel, tall drivers may not be able to find a comfortable seating position in the XC40 recharged twin pure electric. There are some great and some not so great features included with the Google operating system. Having the Google Assistant as a voice recognition system makes it one of the easiest ways to control things, and we love being able to access applications like Google Maps inside the vehicle. We don't like the fact that all Google features won't work until the data connection is restored in the event of a sudden loss. It integrates with smartphones via Apple CarPlay, but Android Auto is still not available, and the Bluetooth connection is quite limited. Although it's an optional extra and a little pricey, we think it's worth it because all of the advanced driver aids work well. With a trunk that is 20.4 cubic feet and a trunk that is 1 cubic foot, the recharge of the XC40 has a smaller cargo area than its closest rivals, but it is still a pretty useful space. There are a lot of other places to store things in the cabin, like a clever little trash can that can be taken out. Compared to most SUVs this size, you might be able to fit a bulky rear-facing seat in this vehicle, but it will still be tight. The XC40 recharge, according to the EPA, has a range of 223 miles when fully charged and consumes 39 kilowatt hour of electricity for every 100 miles driven. Fortunately, the Volvo performed better in real-world testing. The XC40 recharge can potentially be charged from 0 to 80% battery capacity in about 40 minutes on a 150 kW DC fast charger. Volvo covers scheduled maintenance at every 10,000 miles for up to 3 years and 36,000 miles of ownership, in addition to the 8-year, 100,000-mile battery warranty. If we had to sum up the XC40 recharge in one sentence, we would say that it is unassuming but fun to drive and simple to operate.
What is the recommended XC40 recharge twin pure electric model? We recommend sticking with the base core trim to save a few dollars since all XC40 recharge models get the same battery and powertrain. Models of the Volvo XC40 Recharge Twin Pure Electric The 78 kWh battery pack in the XC40 Recharge is mounted below the floor of the cabin and powers an electric motor at each axle, giving it all-wheel drive as standard. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.